Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. EAA's Ray Aviation Scholarship Program hits 500 recipients. WCA announces Spring Scholarship Recipients. Air Charter Association opens new Air Charter Internship. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for 50 years. Find out why pilots love King Teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. EAA's Ray Aviation Scholarship Program hits 500 recipients. The EAA Ray Aviation Scholarship Program has seen its 500th student pilot graduate helped along the way, marking off a significant milestone for the group's most widely useful scholarship. The Ray Scholarship is funded by the Ray Foundation, but managed by EAA. That allows it to source candidates through its network of EAA chapters. That's a fine way to find those who have a passion for flight, but may not be able to swing the cost of training on their own. Through their chapter, suitable youths can see up to $11,000 in assistance to cover their flight training expenses. This year, the Ray Foundation has disbursed $1.8 million for just scholarships alone. The Ray Scholarship is pretty young, too, being introduced in 2019. Since being started, it's handed out 880 scholarships to young folks, seeing a certificate attainment rate of about 81% to account for those 500 certificated pilots. Today, there are more than 270 more scholarship recipients in the training pipeline, so that percentage may still climb a bit. Scholarships are given out throughout the EAA's chapter system. In order to nominate their own recipients, chapters must be approved for the program, which allows them to nominate a chosen scholar for final review by EAA HQ. Most chapters end up seeing the full $11,000 for their chosen student. After the break, ALPA warns of single pilot push around the world. Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. ALPA warns of single pilot push around the world. With the FAA's legislative life secure, industry lobbyists have moved on to the next battle, ensuring that flight decks across the country and around the world don't have empty seats in the interest of efficiency. ALPA joined hands with the AFL-CIO's Transportation Trades Department to call on U.S. regulators to, quote, aggressively advocate for at least two pilots on every flight deck here at home and in international forums, end quote. During a conference with the AFL-CIO's TTD Executive Committee, the response was unanimous in opposing efforts to reduce the required number of crew on the flight deck of commercial airliners. ASA Updates Training Logs ASA has updated its lineup to accommodate for the new Airmen Certification Standards that go into effect on May 31st, providing refreshed student flight records for instrument and commercial airplane, as well as the same for private, instrument and commercial helicopter ratings. ASA's professional student flight records render that sometimes taxing experience of keeping records a little simpler than doing it by hand, with all the latest regulations accounted for. Student flight records are four-color documents and run about six bucks. Florida Teen Receives Ray Aviation Scholarship Isaiah Cadlitz of Mount Dora, Florida has received the 2024 Ray Aviation $11,000 scholarship awarded by the EAA Chapter 534. A formal award presentation was held on May 11, 2024 at the Leesburg International Airport prior to the chapter's monthly Young Eagle Rally to honor this conscientious young man. 
Isaiah has been active in Chapter 534's Aviation Youth Program Squadron 534 for several years. He attends regular Saturday work sessions in the chapter's hangar and works closely with several of his adult mentors. NAV Canada launches new aviation meteorology reference. NAV Canada has launched the Aviation Meteorology Reference, which they claim to be a new, first-of-its-kind and definitive guide on meteorology and aviation operations. In response to the dynamic challenges posed by weather in the aviation industry, NAV Canada, in collaboration with experts from across the aviation industry, developed the new reference as an educational tool that will complement existing weather training and course curriculums. A significant number of users from flight schools to airport authorities and commercial airlines have already planned to build the aviation meteorology reference into their training. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. WCA announces spring scholarship recipients. Women in Corporate Aviation has announced the recipients of its spring scholarship program, noting that they've had a record amount of applications in the last year. All in all, WCA saw more than 300 applicants for the scholarship, meaning the group also needed a record number of graders to assess just who was the most deserving of the honors. The group was grateful for all the assistance that flowed in to help ease the workload, saying, quote, There is something special and renewing of your spirit when you read scholarships as you see that we all share common bonds and need each other to grow in this world, end quote. Winners of the Spring 2024 Scholarships run the gamut from piloting, maintenance, flight attendant, and regulatory themes with a variety of amounts and donors. The biggest disbursement was the Women in Corporate Aviation Career Scholarship Netflix at $5,000, awarded to Lee Hout. The second largest appears to be a tie for $3,500. Madeline Bennett got the Solaris Aviation Advanced Reading Scholarship, and Pam Rose got the same amount for flight attendant training with the vendor of her choice, courtesy of Da Vinci Workshop participants. From there, a variety of training courses, consultings, and programs follow. After these messages, Air Charter Association opens a new Air Charter Internship. Welcome back. Air Charter Association opens new Air Charter Internship. The Air Charter Association is celebrating its 75th anniversary with a new sponsored internship program. It has been termed the ACA 75 Internship Program and will offer a three and a half month stint where youths age 18 to 25 get quote, expert training, hands-on work experience, a competition project, and a networking and awards presentation event, end quote. The internship will start them off with four days of classroom training to establish a base of knowledge where students report to the ACA's London Airport base. Then, after passing an assessment, the students will be given a certificate of completion. From there, they will move on to a one- to two-week work placement with one of the ACA's member companies. Those jobs may include private air charter broker, ground handler, flight support company, aviation legal practice, insurance firm, catering provider, and pretty much anything that falls under the umbrella of private aviation. After completing their work assignments, interns will complete a unique project, reporting on a topic of interest as they compete for one of two top spots. Winners will be granted their award at the Air Charter Excellence Awards event next November. The association is accepting applications through June 10, 2024. Details can be found on their website. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.